Well, here we go again. Hello everyone and welcome to the Ghost Slayers Report. I am as always Ryan here in Tokyo, Japan. Now, as soon as the LDP took power, one of the first things they start doing is dismantling uh, many of the policies, which some were quite progressive, of the Democratic Party of Japan when they were in power. And what's the first thing that the um, new Prime Minister, Mr. Abe there, chooses to get away with? To do away with, pardon me? Oh yeah, it's um, the plan to completely abandon a nuclear power as an energy source in Japan by the 2030s. First thing gets in, gets in power, first policy they go after. Now, am I surprised? Why, no, of course not. I'm not surprised by that. LDP is the uh, pro-business party. They're the pro-big the pro -big corporation party. Uh, they, they're the party that, again, I can't stress this enough, that promotes useless public works, massive production for basically no reason other than to fill people's pockets. Instead of doing things actually useful, uh, LDP traditionally traditionally focuses on profit, profit at all cost. All right, so not surprised here. The nuclear power industry, when it was fully operational, up and running in Japan, was an extremely profitable business. Extremely profitable. So, by LDP logic, they look at that, and uh, they think to themselves, well. We need to get the economy to grow. So, let's restart nuclear power plants. Now, they haven't said they're going to restart them yet, but they have hinted at it. Um, Industry Minister Toshimitsu Motega, uh, who just took power, um, hinted at they're going to start building new reactors. Well, they never really stopped building new reactors, if you really think about it. There's currently, I believe, two or three nuclear power plants, which will never stop being constructed. So, if there's any type of freeze or hold on any type of construction, well, that's done. That's going to be gone. Trust me. They're going to come out and try to do that. All right? The same way that the liberal, that the Democratic Party of Japan tried to go ahead and restart all the reactors. And what happened? The people here in this island fought that by heavy protesting. Some of the protests I went to here in Japan were absolutely historic, all right? And people in the street weekly, sometimes daily, and some of these uh, demonstrations were massive. And it worked. It actually worked. We got the government to go to a zero nuclear energy policy. To begin that process, that long, slow, uh, rather difficult process, we got the government to start that. We got um, clean energy initiative started with um, the solar power initiative, which um, started several companies in Japan to build massively large solar power plants. And there's a policy, which I'm sure I is going to go after, uh, in which um, all nuclear, uh, excuse me, all power companies are going to be required to purchase a certain percentage of solar power. And they're off to buy that um, at a fixed non-market price to guarantee the solar operator's profit to promote and encourage this. Wonderful idea. Telling you Abe's going to go after that next. All the clean energy initiatives, all the policies regarding getting rid of nuclear power in Japan, he's done with that now. Because, well, he wants to spur the economy. That's his big thing right now. Is his, He's promising everybody here in Japan is we're all going to make more money and the economy is going to get moving. See, money. The same thing we talked about when we had the Democrat Party of Japan in power. We talked about money is not important to us. We want a safer environment. We want a better country. We don't, want, we don't need a more profitable country. It's the third largest uh, economy in the world. Yeah, we, we don't see the type of growth that we would like to have. But we're not starving here in Japan. There are other ways for us to make money. Many other ways. But no, 
Abe-san has chosen to choose profit over people.